how easy it is to fake a certificate nowadays. In an era where an increasing number of employers are demanding official certificates, the issue of certificates authenticity has become a visible problem. Fake certificates aren't limited to one industry. It is an issue that touches all types of official documents, from academic to quality certificates and even professional ones. As you've probably guessed, there are many ways to fake certificates, and all of these alternatives are illegal and might land you in prison. To shed light on the fake certificates phenomenon, we'll focus today on how many individuals are able to trick the world by DIYing their official documents. What's alarming is how easy it has become to fake soft copies of certificate. They usually need just a minimum skill on using Photoshop, access to the internal or similar software apps. As for physical copies, they generally produce identical copies by cloning what material are used on the original copy, which sometimes you can find on uh, common e-commerce like Shopee and Lazada. All right, so I just take this image yesterday. I import it to Photoshop. And as you can see, I clearly have the soft copy of the, my, my own certificate. So I try to change it, to change the name. And yeah, it's just take like two minutes to, to fake this. And usually uh, some companies then doesn't really care like this certificate is uh, fake or real. On the other hand, another popular method is buying from fake certificate sites. If I type in Google fake certificate, you will see ton of fake certificate providers. The price usually range from 150 and sometimes can be up to 900 depending on university and level of experience you want to see. The main issue with the current physical certificates is that they only use serial numbers as a security measure, which makes them really easy to counterfeit. To verify certificates, you usually need to contact and check with the university stuff, which is not always that simple. I'm about to call my previous university using my current certificate and see how long it actually takes to verify a student. So this is a second tab. Press one for English. Second door to bar. I wanted to verify a certificate. Um, certificate? Yeah, a uh, degree certificate. So from one of your students, we just want to see like is if this legit or not. You you have the transcript or any academic certificate? You Only have? the degree, the certificate. Only copy of degree. Yep. Any IC number or passport number? Passport number. I can't see Local any. Or or uh, I think Malaysian. Yeah, this one Malaysian. Malaysian. The uh, IC number, then I can check it for you. What is it? Number three? There's, there's a, uh, I think, like serial number here. Uh, what's the number? Uh, three one. Okay, okay, uh, Muhammad Afik bin M. Mo. Yeah, yeah, correct. Oh, okay. In this case, it took more than 20 minutes to verify one certificate which can be longer depending on the university. Bear in mind that some companies need to verify hundreds of certificates for one successful hiring, which make this type of verification process inefficient and time-consuming. As you can see, sometimes it's really hard to reach and talk to the universities, making the HR departments to sometimes skip this process and therefore hire fake certificates holders. Many people believe that fake certificates aren't that big of a deal, as employers don't usually check them. They also believe that everything can be learned on the internet without a certificate being required. Um, that's not completely true. Yes, of course, there is a, some skills that can be easily learned and excel on the internet. But there are other fields such as medical, manufacturing or safety, where you must have the genuine certificate so that people know you are competent to do the job, especially with people's life being at risk. 
So here is the question. Are you okay with being treated by a fake doctor? What about having your house built by an uncertified contractor? Would you trust them? Absolutely not. Many fake certificates holder cases are getting exposed, but unfortunately, only after the damage is done. For example, the fake nurse case in Colorado, or the recent news about a fake dentist doing their orthodontic surgery at home. What do you think about this fake certificates phenomenon? Share your thoughts and opinion with us in the comments below.